Hey 7 Days Dead Eye fans, this is Zith, and I want to do a short video to show you how to load SDX mods um, into the 7 Days to Die game using the mod launcher. So let's get started. First, um, some assumptions. You need to have your game installed somewhere uh, already on your computer. And so uh, my assumption is that you're in the default directory here. If you load it on D or E or wherever drive, that's fine. Just make sure you update this. Uh, type in the correct uh, directory. Uh, it may automatically detect it um, when you click on Steam version. Not sure about that. But in any event, we need to make sure that the game, uh, the launcher knows where your game is. So with that done, let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to create a new mod. Uh, these are mods that other people um, have made, um, like Darkness Falls, uh, Dust of Deaths mods, and so on and so forth. Let's make our own. And how do you go ahead and do that? Well, First thing, come up here to say add a new my mods. So I'm clicking on that. It pops up this uh, windows. You can go ahead and uh, make it, call it whatever you want. I'm just going to call it my game. You can type in a description here, uh, but basically that's all you really need to do. Click save. And after a pause, you'll notice in this mod directory here, it now puts my mods. If I open that up, there'll be um, the my game, which is what I named my specific uh, copy of the game, but there's nothing there. There's a red X, so I now need to load a copy of the vanilla game into that directory. You can download a copy from Steam if you want to put your credentials in. Otherwise, it will copy the um, make a copy of your master install of the game off your hard drive locally. So I'm going to go ahead and click Install Game Copy. You see it; it's doing it down here, and I'm just going to pause until that's done. Okay, that's copied. You notice that the red X has gone to a green check mark, um, and my game is called My Game. Go over to this window here, and in the path that I told it to install it, there is now My Mods, My Game, and here's a um, complete copy of the game that we're now going to modify. So, back over here to My Game, I'm going to go up here and click on Manage Modlets. That will pop up a the modlet. Um, dialog and it, if you've already clicked this green button it'll show you all the different modlets that are available if you haven't and you or or you haven't done it in a while you want to update this um, to see if anybody has gotten any updates to any of your favorite mods just click this green button here and it will go ahead and force a refresh and I'll click OK and it will go ahead now turn red and it's starting to scan for um, github and gitlab for any um, new mods or updates to old mods um, and build a directory so i'm going to go ahead and pause it while it finishes that okay that's completed and now it shows you a refreshed version of the 358 uh, modlets that are available uh, if you scroll through here you'll see from uh, all your favorite authors in here but since we have picked the mod for default, these are just the basic vanilla modlets that do not require SDX. To be able to expose the SDX ones, click here, come down the bottom and pick SDX mods. It gives you now a subset. And for purposes of this demo, I want to load my uh, wandering traders. So all you have to do to do that is download that mod and all of its dependencies. Um, seeing here might be a good idea for me to write the dependencies in the description. Um, but for now, I happen to know what they are, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to click download, and it will uh, click on that. And it's downloading. It's syncing the files. Now you notice over in this window here that there's now a mods um, folder, and it has put the Wandering Traders um, modlet in that folder. Um, to be able to get that to run, it, um, those are animated characters, so we need Animation SDX. Animation SDS needs HAL's DLL fixes, and the code to run those um, um, traders is uh, Spheral's Wandering Trader. So those four things have to be loaded to be able to get that uh, Wandering Traders in the game. So with that there, you notice it's copied those four um, modlets into the mods directory of my game copy. And if I click here, it'll show you that all four are enabled. So that's all you need to do with this window, and we could close that. And again, on my game here, just click Play Mod to play the game. Let's go ahead and see if that works. And as you see, it's refreshing the mods. 
and basically it tells you it's checking SDX. It's noticed that there's some SDX scripts there that it's got to compile, so it's going to download a copy of SDX for you automatically, and it's going to run the compile, do that build, and just moving this over here, here's the game. So let's see if the wonder. All right, here we are in the game. Let's go ahead and see if the wandering traders are in there. All right, let's turn debug on. Function sick. There he is.